Hey, what's going on? Travis Patel here. Thank you so much for joining me in the next video of Crushing E-Commerce. In this one, we're going to talk about setting up lookalike audiences. Lookalike audiences are a great feature Facebook has to help us expand our reach, make lots more sales, and keep a campaign really going full board for a long period of time. Now, so far we've talked about setting up custom audiences where we're using it for retargeting. We've also talked about conversion pixels where you set those up. Now, we can set up lookalike audiences, and pretty much what lookalike audiences are is Facebook checking out a certain group of people that you select, if it's a custom audience or a conversion pixel, whatever it may be, or a fan page, Facebook looks at this group of people and they go and they find people that are just like them uh, on Facebook but aren't in that initial group. It's a lookalike audience to that initial audience you created. So there's different ways to go about this with, with using these lookalike audiences with success where we can have our custom audience that we've created for the retargeting, we can create a lookalike audience around this, which really does well the larger the retargeting audience is. So if you have that custom audience that has gone to that sales page and it's at five, 10,000, the more people there, the better Facebook can optimize that lookalike audience, which is gonna be into the couple million range to help expand reach. Now, if you're using a lookalike audience around a conversion pixel, conversion pixels are actual buyers. This is really where the money, the gold platform is when it comes to lookalike audiences. You wanna create lookalikes around your conversion pixels because like I said, that is a group of buyers. So Facebook's gonna, so going to optimize and create the lookalike audience to be as like that buyer audience as possible and that's obviously, as you can probably tell, a great way to add more sales to your campaigns and it works over and over again. So let's go ahead and create a quick lookalike audience just to show you how it's done. And then from there, you can just go ahead and create a ad targeted audience like, like before. So first off, we have to choose the source, which we can choose a fan page. We can choose a conversion pixel we've created. As long as it has enough people, you can also choose a custom audience. So we have for our graduation one, <clears throat> we have our necklace here. Here's our shirts, a website custom audience. We're selling the shirt on a, another Shopify store, which has one single conversion pixel we could target. With the beard brand here, it'll be very helpful to target that one single store conversion pixel, whereas an apparel store you're selling across multiple niches and really being widespread, where this one's only be focused on people who are, are in need of beard products and grooming tools and stuff like that. So a look like audience to that conversion pixel across the entire store is gonna work very, very well. So let's go ahead and we'll just choose 2015 Dobby. Next stop, country. We'll go United States. And then here we can choose how like the audience you want to be. The smaller the size, 2.4 million, means it's going to be more like this group of people, more like the source. It's about uh, the top 1% people that match. Then as the bigger you get, 4% or 4.8 million would be 2%. You start getting up into, you know, five to 10% uh, lookalike audiences, which will make this one, let's say a 2%. So 4.8 million people. Oh. So the source here is too small. We need at least someone of 100 people. So let's go ahead and we'll do choose Don Mazuma website. That's what we just created. Create audience. Boom, lookalike audience, 1%, Don Mazuma. Refresh this, the size might pop up. Sometimes it takes a few minutes. Yeah, but then this lookalike audience, we can use this to create an ad once that populates, which it'll take just a few minutes, and you can move on to creating those lookalike audiences. Now, for great success, you'll take these lookalike audiences and you can combine that custom audience with broad interest in your niche. So for the beard example, we would choose this look like audience, create an ad, and then we would cross target that with the interest like beard, uh, beard brand or Incredibeard or any of those others that we saw in the research. 
So this is how you go about lookalike audiences. Very powerful stuff for long-term sales and expanding and uh, expanding your reach and scaling big. So definitely put them to use and don't forget about the custom audiences and conversion pixels because it, it will definitely help your sales. So guys, my name is Travis Patel. I will see you in the next video.